Hello my dear children. Welcome back to our online class of Sri Gogulam Public School, Gurwayu. How was your vacation? I hope you enjoyed your vacation. So let's come back to our topic. We are discussing about electric switch. Switch is a simple device that is used to either break the electric circuit or to complete it. And with the help of an activity, we have learned about switch. Today, we will discuss about electric conductors and insulators. What are conductors and insulators? Materials that allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors and materials that do not allow electric current to pass through them are called insulators. So children let us understand in detail what are conductors and what are insulators. Different components of electric circuit are made up of different materials. Now let us perform an activity. Collect some samples of different types of materials such as coin, key, eraser, hairpin, pencil lid, wood, plastic, paper, etc. Identify conductors and insulators. Let us now try to identify objects which are conductors and insulators. Now let us take the circuit. Now remove the safety pin which is placed here. Now insert different objects like coin, eraser, plastic scale, hairpin, pencil lid, etc. And check whether the bulb glows or not. Now when hairpin is used as it is metal, the bulb glows. When pencil lead is used, as it is made up of graphite, the bulb glows. When eraser is placed in between, the bulb does not glow because it is made up of rubber. When plastic scale is placed in between, the bulb doesn't glow as it is made up of plastic. When wood is placed, the bulb doesn't glow. Yes, because it is a wood. When an iron nail is used, the bulb glows because it is made up of metal when a paper clip is used the bulb glows because it is made up of metal we saw in some cases the bulb glows and in some cases the bulb doesn't glow the reason here is that some materials are conductors and some are insulators. Conductors are the substance which allow current to flow through them and insulators are the substance which do not allow current to flow through them. Now let us try to group the objects which we see in our daily life.
So children, today we have discussed about conductors and insulators. Children, I have attached to your video and notes. All of you please copy the notes in your notebook. And all of you please attend the test paper. See you in the next class. Till then take care. Bye.